what started as an idea. Betsy's my name and weather's my game and these girls, they're in my crew. To put STEM in the spotlight is getting renewed life. We are pushing our roots deeper. More science, more technology, more engineering, and more math. We are sowing the seeds to success, helping Northeast Ohio with growing STEM. Well, I am so excited that we are once again going to be featuring STEM here on 3 News. A few years ago, we focused on girls in STEM. This time, we are expanding. Now, since it is February and February is Black History Month, we wanted to bring in some star power for our first growing STEM segment. And there was really only one guy who fit that bill. 40 years ago this year, Guy Bluford became the first African American in space. Well, now he's 80 years old, and his incredible career has settled here. He now lives here in Cleveland and continues working with and overseeing projects at NASA Glenn. It's so great to get to talk to you. What an incredible honor for me. I love it. This well, like... I feel very lucky. Uh, I'm a kid who grew up in inner city Philadelphia who loved airplanes, who wanted to be an aerospace engineer, who has had a fabulous career being an aerospace engineer. You know, not only do I have a PhD in aerospace engineering, but I've done it in the Air Force flying fighters and running an engineering branch to flying in space with NASA to coming here and working in industry, building stuff for uh, for NASA Glenn. So what, what was your spark? What made you as a child want to be an aerospace engineer? You got to remember, I grew up in the 40s and 50s. So I grew up where uh, the big thing was jet airplanes. We were going from propeller airplanes out of uh, World War II to jet airplanes. So that was exciting. And then I had a father who was a, uh, uh, an engineer who enjoyed what he did. Were there any classes as you were growing up and, and in all of your you know, educational pursuits, any classes that gave you trouble? Yes. I am. Uh, very one-sided. I am math and science. I like math. I'm poor in reading, uh, writing, languages, that sort of thing. When I took the SAT exam, my math score was twice my English score, just to give you, just to give you a feel. One of the things we're trying to achieve in this growing STEM is, is just showing kids and, and people of all ages, really, learners of all ages, that just because something is difficult doesn't mean that it isn't worth your time and worth your investment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting enough, people sort of assume that it was easy for me in math and science. No, it wasn't. But it was something that I was excited about, something that captured my interest. And so I ran in that direction. And so when I ask kids what they want to do, I ask them to do things that you really like doing. Because so those are the things that you will excel in. So being the first African American in space, um, you know, you, you served in Vietnam uh, during a very tumultuous time in American history. This is Black History Month sure. now. What was it like for you as an African American, you know, paving this this road that others have, have now walked on sure. behind you? Yeah. Um, what, what was that like for you? I enjoyed flying airplanes. So I just accepted it. I never really considered it a problem or any that sort of thing. So I never thought myself being different than anybody else. I just accepted the fact that I ran down things that I enjoyed doing and I went out there and did them. I was remember, I, I t told somebody that I went to pilot training. I had never seen a black pilot until I got to pilot training, but that never deterred me from being a pilot. One, we have ignition and we have liftoff. All right, so I have to ask, what was it like? <laughs> <laughs> well, flying in space is a great experience. Now the uh, one mile and a half. It was uh, lots of fun. You get the view out the window, which is spectacular. Once again, you're working, for, you're working with some great people. You train with these people all the time. so. It's a great team effort and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. 